Do you want professional mixing and mastering tools at an affordable price? Take your music to the next level with Akon Digital's Mix and Master Suite. Six premium plugins delivering exceptional sound quality, innovative features, and intuitive interfaces. All designed to help make your track sound better than ever. Hi, my name is Marcus Huskins here on behalf of Akon Digital. In this series of videos, we're going to be taking a look at the plugins featured in the Akon Digital Mixing and Mastering Suite. So let's dive in. First up is Dynamics, allowing you to work with extremely low distortion, even with very short attack and release types, as long as the variable look ahead is set sufficiently long. It includes a powerful sidechain filter that now offers an extremely musical sounding auto release function. All right, so first off, let's take a listen to Akon Digital Dynamics and let's take a listen to this on a drum stem. I'm just in the factory default preset here. Take a look at what happens as I pull the threshold down. Notice we have our auto makeup gain here. Now, of course, any one of these parameters, we can adjust these to taste. We have a lot of different options with respect to oversampling, sidechain filters, and everything you would expect. We also have some presets that are a really good starting point. So regardless of whether you're working on the mix bus, or in this case, the drums, let's try some of these different presets out. We can adjust these to taste. Let's move on. Notice we're doing a lot of compression here. This is one of the things I love about this particular compressor. We're hitting between five and 10 dB of gain reduction and the results we're getting are very transparent. So if you're in the train of thought that you've already dialed in your tone, you have your harmonic saturation and everything dialed in, and you just need to now further tame those dynamics, this is an amazing option. Let's take a look at Fairlight in DaVinci Resolve for a moment. Since I've got this plugin, I've actually moved over and I'm using this for all of my dialogue for any video that I've created because it has the ability to be completely invisible. This is literally the stock default preset on this. Take a listen to this in action. Take your music to the next level with Akon Digital's Mix and Master Suite. Six premium plugins delivering exceptional sound quality, innovative features, and intuitive interfaces. So we are hitting between five and 7 dB of gain reduction on this. And I can't hear that much at all. It maybe sounds like a couple dB, but this is incredible. And like I said, this is the stock preset. The only change that I've made in this case is I set the ratio from two to 2.5 and the threshold, I change this from minus 12 to minus 15. And then you can engage oversampling if you want, but this is an incredible AB result. So whether you're working with voiceover or actual vocals, if you need something to just go in there and tame the dynamics of your performance, this is an amazing option. Multiband Dynamics allows you to work with up to four separate bands with continuously variable filter slopes and crossover frequencies, as well as unique mixed phase crossover mode, which preserves even the shortest and sharpest transients. Let's take a look at using the Akon Digital Multiband Dynamics, in this case, just on an instrumental. Let's go through some of the presets. Clarity and control. Low expander, you can definitely hear that. So this has a fairly simple GUI, very easy to use. If you want to start off with any one of these presets, you can simply dial in the threshold and make any changes that you want. So let's go over to mastering and let's start off with something like clarity, for example. <laughs> So super intuitive and easy to use GUI. We have some other options here in terms of different phase modes and channel linking, but in general, the presets are a really great place to get started and it just sounds good on pretty much anything that needs contouring and controlling of individual bands and you'd like to compress and just tame those areas. With Equalize 2, you can use up to 12 bands with continuously adjustable filter slopes simultaneously in three different modes. Minimum phase, linear phase, and the unique fixed phase mode. 
Check out the flexible left, right, or mid side settings per band and the clear UI with the built in spectrum analyzer means you have everything you need for even the most complex frequency processing tasks. So here I've got an instance of Equalize 2. Let's go ahead and dial in something in terms of a mastering preset. Maybe let's start with Enhanced Clarity. Let's move over. Big change there. Okay, so incredibly easy to use, really intuitive GUI. If we want to just quickly listen to the before and after on what's happening with this high side boost. Also very easy to just add any point. So for example, we're doing a boost on the sides in this high shelf. Maybe I wanted to add something in the midsection for one of the lower frequencies here. So I'll just dial this up. I'm just kind of choosing something randomly. And in this case, let's switch over to the mid mode over here. Let's actually push this a little bit more just for sake of demonstration. Let's start off and bypass. <laughs> So really quick before and after. Now, in addition to that, we also have a lot of different phased modes that we can try. Minimum phase, mixed phase, linear phase, and lots of different options in terms of contouring and crafting the exact sound that we're looking for. The Limit plugin is characterized by a very clean and transparent sound, which includes a separate pre-compressor and peak suppression stages, which together with four times oversampling will allow you to reach the required loudness without compromises. A really quick and easy way to judge how good a limiter is, is quite simply, does it fall apart with excessive amounts of input gain? Let's take a look to see how far we can push this. Let's start off with a preset. I'm gonna to go to True Peak Limiting and we'll go to Limit Music, minus two decibels, True Peak. And what I'm gonna do is just start dialing this in. <laughs> So right around 23, I started to hear it kind of fall apart a bit, but take a look at the amount of gain reduction that we're doing here. We're doing between 15 and 20 dB of limiting. Take a listen and bypass. Now, in addition to that, we have lots of additional controls. We have our attack, our release, our channel linking, and then we have really specific peak suppression controls for the look ahead and channel linking. Also, we have three different oversampling modes. So a choice between off, two times, or four times. So in terms of having a really transparent limiter that you can push really hard if needed, this is a great option. Also, another option is that if you hold the shift modifier as you're dialing in the input, that you can do this while simultaneously bringing down the output. This can be sometimes good to judge if the changes that you're making are actually helping or whether it kind of starts to fall apart. So that's using Acon Digital's Limit Plugin, a really quick option to get your loudness levels where they need to be without having the whole entire track fall apart. Experience the magic of Verberate 2 with Vivid Hall algorithm, resonance-free and time variant with an enhanced decay editor for precise reverb sculpting. Dispersion effect realistically models plate reverbs by simulating frequency travel. Swirl effect adds a vintage cloud-like chorus towards the end of the reverb tail. Bloom control adjusts reverb build-up time for a customizable sonic experience. All right, so let's take a quick listen to Acon Digital's Verberate 2. Now I've got this set up on a drum track. We're using a pre-fader send, and I'm just gonna isolate the actual effects return. Let's take a quick listen. This is just in its stock default state.
Okay, so in terms of options, we have the ability to adjust a dry level. If you're using this inline, then we can actually activate the dry level signal and we can blend between all three of these. So essentially we have the reverb or the tail, the early reflections amount. In addition, we have a bunch of different options that we can choose for the early reflection. So this is really nice. Now we also have our reverb time, room size, pre-delay, pretty much everything that you would expect in a reverb. So let's quickly dial something in and perhaps we can isolate some of these different elements over here and kind of dial these in. Let's bring in the actual track as well. Maybe we'll bring down our send a bit. Bring up our reverb time. A little bit of pre-delay. And then dial that back, something a little bit more conservative. So just a really quick and easy way that we can dial in a reverb. Now we also have a bunch of different presets that we can choose from. So for example, if you wanted to go with room and you wanted to dial in something, maybe we want studio A, we can basically use this as a starting point and then just dial this into taste. Big difference. Let's pull it down to the point that we almost don't realize it's there until we take it out. Okay, I like that. So that's Verberate 2, just an incredibly easy to use plugin, great sounds, really great starting points in terms of presets, and you can pretty much dial in anything that you need super quick. Also included is a dither plugin offering TPDF dithering with optional noise shaping, adjustable maximum gain of the noise shaping filter, and an excellent collection of carefully selected presets. Now in most DAWs these days, with respect to dithering, this is usually something that's built in. So here I am in Persona Studio One. As you can see in the Advanced Preferences section, we have an option to use dithering for playback and audio file export. Essentially what this means is that our DAW is taking care of all the dithering options. Now this can be convenient because we don't really have to worry about this, but if you have something in particular that you want to set up and adjust, then we have the ability to actually deselect this option. And then we can turn to Acon Digital's Dither plugin. We have a bunch of different presets which we can choose from. So for example, over here, 16 aggressive noise shaping, 16 bit gentle noise shaping, we can even go to some 8-bit presets if we want to. And then of course, we're setting our target resolution over here. And then the last step would just be quite simply that we make sure that our target resolution for our export is matching. And then versus using the built-in dithering in our DAW, we have the ability to go through the Acon Digital Dither plugin, which gives you a couple more options and a little bit more flexibility in terms of taking control and setting up your dither. So that's using the Acon Digital's Mixing and Mastering Suite. My name's Marcus Huskins, and we will catch you in the next video. Cheers. <laughs>